How many German castles in Berlin do you think you could visit in one day? My mission today is to show you three of my favorite German castles, and then you can choose your favorite. I'm exploring Charlottenburg Palace, Glienicke Palace, and the Grunewald Hunting Lodge. It's going to be a day full of royal history and grandeur. We're starting off right in the center of the city at Charlottenburg Palace. This isn't only the largest, it's the most significant palace in Berlin because here we're literally walking in the footsteps of Prussian kings and queens and German emperors. So let's go in. But why exactly is Charlottenburg Palace such a big deal in Berlin? I think it's the most important palace in Berlin because it's a place where the royal family lived for over seven generations. It was built round about 1700 and the Prussian Hohenzollern family, uh, they used this palace as a summer residence till the end of the monarchy 1918 and then it became a museum. It's a substitute for the uh, Berlin Palace, which was destroyed during the Second World War. And on this place, uh, the Palace of Republic was built during the socialist uh, era. People come here because Charlottenburg is the only one which has uh, interiors of the royal era. The, the times of from the Baroque era around about 1700 till the end of the monarchy, till the beginning of the 20th century. Time to explore the magnificent Baroque apartments. Some of the highlights are the porcelain room. The Palace Chapel. And the bedchamber of King Frederick I. What makes Charlottenburg Palace all the more amazing are the gardens. So much nature right in the middle of Berlin. And it's a great spot to come to to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. The lake here is connected to the Spree River, which flows through Berlin. So royalty could travel between Charlottenburg Palace and the City Palace by gondolas. The gardens were originally designed in French style and later expanded in the English landscape garden style. On to the next stop. For the perfect day trip from Berlin, and for a little bit of Mediterranean flair, you have to check out the Glienicke Palace. This charming little palace was designed to look exactly like an Italian villa. It's a perfect fairy tale spot and it takes less than an hour to get here from the center of Berlin. This neoclassical summer palace was designed around 1825 for the Prince Karl of Prussia. He was thrilled by the beauty of the classical world and wanted his very own Mediterranean-style country house in Berlin. The gardens include an orangerie, greenhouses, courtyards, fountains, and even a casino. So peaceful here with the whole lake all to ourselves. The golden lions sprouting water into this spectacular fountain are versions of the Medici lions from the Villa Medici in Rome. The covered semicircular pavilion was intended as a place to have tea. I'm not gonna lie, I could definitely imagine living here in this palace. If you'd like a more remote option, then you have to check out the Grunewald Hunting Lodge Palace. This palace is tucked away in what feels like the middle of nowhere because we're completely surrounded by lakes and forests, but we're actually just a few minutes drive from the center of Berlin. This is the oldest preserved castle in Berlin, completed in 1543 as a place for Berlin royalty to come to hunt. 
Let's check out the hunting depot. Although I imagine it's not going to be very vegetarian or vegan friendly. Intense. Sometimes before uh, the hunting starts, they had checked who would shoot which boar or deer. The barons, the princes, or the king had the right to hunt deers or boars. And the, the normal man in, in the Middle Ages had the right to hunt little animals, hares, for instance, or little birds, or uh, to come for fishing. This is also the perfect place for art lovers. There are some secret treasures hidden here, almost 30 paintings by Lucas Cranach the Elder. And Lucas Cranach the Younger and his workshop. It's the largest collection of Cranach paintings in Berlin and was originally curated by the Hohenzollern family, which transports you back to the time of the Reformation and Martin Luther. We have visitors from Australia, from the United States, uh, from uh, Europe. It's surprising that these visitors uh, know what we have here. They come and, and uh, ask for the Kranachs, but the visitors uh, from Berlin and Brandenburg, they came here, oh, it's a nice place. Mm, yeah, okay, we guess here is an exhibition about hunting. Oh, okay, let's go, let's, uh, let's have a look. And uh, then uh, they, uh, they come out uh, and are uh, totally uh, overwhelmed. Uh, oh, we, d we didn't know uh, what you uh, have here, it's, it's so amazing. Well, there you go. Just three of Berlin's multiple palaces. My personal favorite, probably the Glienicke Palace, just because of how beautiful and peaceful it is there. But what was yours? And what other German castles would you like to see? Let us know in the comments.